So there we go. Um, uh, but welcome everyone to the Freddie and Alyssa show. We are very excited. We have Marlon and Camille in the house today. <laughs> Thank you both so much for coming over and uh, spending some time with us. Um, right before we got started, we were chit chatting about um, just getting things started, you know, the podcast and how people like you want to partner with people. But it, and I'm curious, Marlon, too, like more of like, um, so I see that you're in business and you're going to all these conferences and I want to dive into all of that. Um, but do you see that for both of you that people were in a world of collaboration, but yet people need to see the numbers almost like people aren't looking into the future and saying, I believe in you. It's more like, what can you at the moment offer right now? Mm -hmm. I'm like, everything has to be built. Even regardless of how many followers you have. I mean, even for Camila, a lot of times, you know, I'm assuming like that guy really should be have done it for free. You know, not, I'm not saying not to, they should get for what they're worth. Mm -hmm. But like I said, sometimes I'm like, Hey, just that one tag from Camila on her post is going to bring more business to you than you trying to, you know, saying, well, how long? And, and you know, for how, like, dude, look at like, what are we making? You the know, bigger what's the picture. overall, the bigger picture? Like, mm -hmm. I want to be part of that. So I look for people that want to be part of, you know, the movement or, you know, oh, I see where you're going with this. I want to help bring that to life as opposed to, you know, you get into the, the logistics of things. Oh, well, how much and how, how long? And, right. you know, it's like life is too short. You know, I want with someone that's like, hey, man, I want to like be committed so that when, you know, nine to five is over, you're like, hey, I, I chose an, an extra hour to really focus on it because you were that passionate about yes. it. Yes. So. It's so funny because that day of days when you guys were signing, we were just like bonding oh, about yes. all of this stuff. And it was so funny. It was such a fun day. And I was blown away because I saw how many people were coming up to you and I hadn't really met you before then. And yeah. The f I mean, I was like, she should be sitting down signing Aww. autographs too. People were coming up to her just as much. I was like, yeah, this is what? It's Everyone awesome. was so sweet that day. But yeah. I guess that's just building, you know, what you guys are doing too, online, building audience, your brand, mm -hmm. what you guys are doing. So yeah. Interacting also, I feel like yeah. when you kind of, I get all these fans that come up to us and they're like, I'm this handle, I'm this handle. And we're like, oh my gosh, yes. Now it's like not just the face and the name, it's the handle. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. Getting, yeah, used to it. Yeah. And both of you build, and I think that's like, we just been looking into all this because over all these years we've tried so many things we've had a lot of success a lot of failure and i think the key component is just the consistency and the actual working and like watching you two is just incredible because i've gotten to the point and this you is like, guys are incredible are you kidding me well thank you thank you both of you like the amount of events you go to the amount of promotion the instagram and then and everything that did, did, have you always been in the like going to seminars and self-education no, or is that no, something new no that that started about a year and a half ago um, you know, with acting, I haven't had anything that's been steady, so I've had to rely on something on the side. Mm -hmm. And I've been working in sales for forever, but always for somebody. And a year and a half ago, I said, "Well, I'm thirty. You know, I'm in my thirties. So I was like, I gotta figure out another plan because we, even with acting, as you know, there's still a lot of insecurities. There's still, um, I mean, even I think this what's his name um, from Aladdin, right? Just recently uh, came out in the news or whatever." where he's like, since Aladdin, I haven't had one offer. Or I an audition. Had one audition. He goes, he goes, everyone's like, oh man, you, you must, you know, you get everything you want now. He's like, actually, I, I haven't done anything. So wow. I did some research, I looked deeper. And I mean, the stuff that's coming out that he, you know, now after Aladdin, he booked, I mean, around the same time. So Did he work a lot before Aladdin? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not sure, but he, he, he was working, at, from my recollection, I seen him on... Uh, what's the um, Jack Bryan on Amazon Prime and oh, just yeah. now my friend my good friend Craig Tate he's moving up and uh, he's doing big things and he's working he's on that role on Hulu called Reprisal now and he's on that show too so yeah but imagine like you said it's very inconsistent so he went out and and started looking into ways that like he said he could work for himself and for his ideas and his dreams and his pushes and his values and so yeah, entrepreneurship was, I mean, my father, he, he's had businesses growing up, so. When and I, I think immersing into, yourself in knowledge is the best way to start with that process. Yeah, that, I realized that too. Yeah. I mean, I realized with anything that we want to do in life, we have to always be learning. Uh, otherwise, you know, even, even with what we love doing, someone's going to come out and, you know, pr produce better content. Than, and, it's, it's, and it's not like, you know, it should be better or, or not, but for ourselves, I'm like, man, we want to. I want to be the best at whatever I do or make sure that at least, you know, it's the, it's being received with the love that I'm putting it in. 
uh, and you, in order to do that, I mean, you're always learning and I'm hmm. catching little things like that now. I'm like, well, this is going to be a, a lifestyle. Yeah. So yeah, I've been going more to the seminars only because I do believe that you learn from those that have already done it. You know, it's like they've gone through the trouble. You know, it's it's not necessarily a shortcut, but it's a smarter way than you know than working harder. So it's it's definitely a shortcut because I I look back and that's why I feel like confident like chatting about personal growth because I experienced it so greatly from when I was 18 years old till now. I remember my mindset of not learning anything. <laughs> being selfish not in like a mean way it's just, I just an adolescence really i think kind of yeah. yeah i was yeah. all about me and like when you start to learn about other people and open up your perception and, and perspective of other people's lives and experiences like it's just it's it's everything and now we have the technology to communicate and i think things need to be talked out the because thing is that happens now is that there's no excuse there there's isn't. no excuse whenever anyone i talk to and you know if they've got this like Man, yeah, I'm just trying, and you know, I'm just, it's just so many things. I go, hey, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I see it every single day. Yeah. You just gotta choose. So, like Camila says, rise above this shit and just do it. <laughs> yeah. Amen. <laughs> and you do it. Yeah, she does it. She really does. We I, I do. Mean, we all do. You know, we got yeah. to. You know. You know, I love, though, about social media, too, because I haven't seen you guys since November, and I feel like I know what you've been up to, <laughs> yes. and, like, I saw you guys went to Britney in the Zone, which we have to talk about for a minute. <laughs> yeah, oh, where? Okay. To where? The Britney Spears in the Zone. Oh, oh the, the Zone, zone girl. Oh, the Zone. It's called The Zone. Girl. My bad. <laughs> that place <laughs> is fantabulous. So we have to go, then. Yes. You have to go. You have to experience it. It's right across the street from the Grove, but Interactive, you have to talk about it. Great so what is it? It's a Britney Spears it's, it's, pop-up. It's, like it's a, a pop-up, pop-up, but still. if yeah. you like Britney Spears not only music but it's just music videos you know like the iconic videos the looks the the, the sets and everything yeah. they bring those from, little things to different rooms from the music videos you know it's like it had the, the plane. It had the plane. Uh, it has like a um, uh, um the, the, an area where you can do the snake. It has a classroom, huh? where, you know, a real one. No, it has a fake <laughs> no, big no, one. No, no. Uh, no For a real second one. though, I was behind Camila and I was like, "Girl, what do you have?" And, but yeah. they're very interactive and it's huge. It's in this old Sears building, so it's this giant, giant, immersive like. 10 room photo experience and um, video experience because you get these little bracelets and you um, sign them into the room and then you can do different um, boomerangs or pictures and they intense. send them to you. It's a little intense in my opinion. You have to go, yeah. you have to sign in some form, <laughs> really? then you have to download well, an app where Because they want to bring you, you all the can. pictures to your phone, you know? Yeah. So. so it is kind of yeah. neat because you don't have to, you know, rely on your phone. Anything that you do there. So it's there. all through them? Yeah, you could use your phone. You could use your phone. You could use your phone. Yeah. But they have their own thing where you scan it and then it'll just be oh. on the app. They have so. a big circus set for the um, circus. They have yeah, so sure. many cool Are ones. there a lot of people behind you when you're doing stuff waiting? No, because it's it's um, like small groups. Okay. So our group was, what, four people? Yeah. yeah. And then Depending we how would, many people are there. Yeah. And then it's just like Because you get going employee. by hour. Yeah. Oh. Because mm-hmm. oh, so I went to the wax museum for the very first time for Christmas because <laughs> my parents were in town and it was kind of just like a free-for-all like you kind of just walk yeah. through but there's people everywhere and you're kind of like That's waiting wild. and then you know it was still for you know it, you're, you're, you're. <laughs> no this was a bit more organized because there was sessions and they would call it class and so the first little room that you go into is you know like the classroom set where she would do like the I don't know what song. Hit me baby one more time. Hit me baby one more time. And then the hallway with the um, lockers. So you go in there and they give you a little pep talk and then you go and you do all the rooms. One of the employees was like, oh, you can tell he's a huge fan. There was people there that were just like, like, they knew everything. They were asking them trivia questions and they were just going above and beyond. What's your favorite song? I was like, I don't even know, but I was like, slave. Slave. I love that. Well, I saw you did a video you posted. Was that a real person dancing next to you? <clears throat> no. It's all done through video. Really cool. That's one of the little chip yeah. things. It's, a, it's, like a, it's like a mini set. And the girl was like, listen, you just do something this wall. You dance. and Dance video, Battle Madonna. You get, it's going to be. Or Britney. Yeah, it's going to be Britney. And I was yeah. like, oh, okay, cool. So after I saw it, I didn't even know it was going to look like that. 
because you know as an actor I was like oh I would have probably done this if I didn't look like that. Okay, yeah. I kind of want to like learn the dance and go and do it. <laughs> Just go watch the yeah, video, yeah. the Madonna and Britney I was video. Like, I saw it, that so. she kind of like walks into it afterwards, and I was like, oh man, would have told me that I would have like because I started right like you know upfront and personal already. Like, yeah. People were like, hey, you you're kind of like angry at the wall. I was like, I didn't know. But everybody did their own version of things, yeah. which is fun to see everybody so just being funny. creative. I was taking a chance to make a goof of myself. I was like, right, let's, let's try. Camille was like, no, no, I'm good. I'm, uh, I don't want to. <laughs> Anything for the content, right? <laughs> exactly. He's like, it's Britney, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and they give you these work bitch hats. It's hilarious. Stop. And everything's yeah, about just yeah. like these sayings and there's these neon signs everywhere. They're really, it's fun. It's so crazy because I'm not normally someone to get starstruck per se, but Britney is like it for me. She's it's your kind girl. Of like, mm, mm, oh, she was her. at some so event. She, what event was she at? Was one, she cut the off? one that I wasn't there. Oh, oh yeah. With, I think Christopher Sean maybe. And you did the yeah, we were doing the carpet for something. I mean, it was glad, but her and her entourage just like cut right in front. You know how you know how those big yeah, lines yeah, yeah, are yeah, waiting. Yeah. And we were like, who is this? And like Christopher had it all on camera. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. it's Britney Spears. Oh, that's pretty cool. The one event I don't go to. I'm oh, so She nervous. was like freaking out. Well, you should totally, totally check it out because she actually um, partook in the process of picking, you know, songs and the sets and like different little things for the room. So. Yeah, nothing's there by accident. Everything. She is, picked out things. Love it. it. So. Yeah, and and the, I think the biggest thing is that everyone that's working there is a huge fan. You can oh, tell yeah. they're really? they're singing the song. I mean, you're you're walking you know room oh. by room, and they're like hey hey, and they're singing. And you're just like it's just contagious. You're like okay, what yeah. a smart idea. Why yeah. not Those have pop-ups are everywhere? Are, yeah, did you go to the Saved by the Bell one? No, I heard about so, that. No. Did you guys go? It was cool. Yeah. 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 I'm I a huge fan, so I was like... They always go and do you. stuff. We got to be a little more like them. We babe. really do. You inspire us so <laughs> no, much. No, it's her. It's like, all her. I, 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 how many times have I said it where I go, I go, I don't know how Camila does it. Like, <laughs> yeah. you yeah. are out yeah. all the time, and I'm like, I need to push myself because we're like such homebodies. Just because the, the idea <laughs> of getting dressed, getting to the car, <laughs> driving in traffic, finding parking... Walking to there, waiting, getting there. Like, the whole yeah. process you to me. You do it for the gram. You right. do it for the gram. My cringe, girl. cringe, cringe. What's your, what's, your, uh, what's your thought? Like, have you... LA problems. <laughs> you what? LA problems. LA nowhere, problems. Nowhere yeah. else in the country. Just like LA, really. Um, do you find yourself, like, uh, like because you said you... I mean, you, have, you obviously do it to build your brand, but just to meet people, network or whatever. But have you seen, uh, like, a difference in growing your brand of how it's helping in your career? Well, I don't only, by the way, do it for the gram. I know there is a huge percentage of, of absolutely content, um, especially because the the activities sometimes that we pick are fun, go lucky, and then involve you know helping people. Yeah, that's the other part of, of why I do these things. A lot of the events that we go to are geared towards charities or you know investigating new information on anything, research anything that that can help anybody. Um, I, I like to be a part of because even if it's driving in traffic, what I don't care. That's that's what I can do right now. That's actually like a huge yeah. thing in our relationship. You know, for me, looking to someone that cared about, you know, that had some plans of like, yeah, hey, I want to do some some good. I want to give some back. And she, I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. she's like a giver. So I was just like. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But 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 yeah, but like not all of them are, you know, associated with charity. So we try mostly to yeah. confirm to events that are. I think positive and inspire positivity and, and things like that. Um, but yeah, I, I've definitely seen a growth. I think the biggest growth I had was when I realized that the hashtag, the handle at Camila wasn't taken. And um, that was um, a game changer, so actually. Amazing. Just a name, mm-hmm. I, I think, really took your growth to the next level. Like, mm-hmm. that was a little minor th- changes you made that went from like, wait, when did you go from that number to that number? Wow. Well, also you being consistent. Like, yeah, it was available. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was just like there. And I was like, wait, what? And people ask me all the time. They're like, oh my God, did you get that name like right when Instagram started? And I was like, I got that name two years ago. So, wow. no. <laughs> I thought it belonged to at least like my Camila, what is it, Bayo? Cabello, yeah. yeah and that's what Cabello. I was I was like, you know what happened? I was like, oh. But it was funny because, you know, when you're verified, you can't really, like, change your name. Like, yeah. whenever you want, you have you can't just, like, go on the app and change right. your name because it just says it does not allow. Yeah, and bad. you have to, like, get you it approved to go through, someone. through I, Instagram. I didn't know my password for two years, and it was starting to mess with me because I was like, if I lose my phone, I, like, lose – I felt like I lost everything. So I, I went through PR with Maya, and they connected me, and I had to change my password through 
Instagram. Some other sort of like form, but you yeah. can't get a hold of Instagram. Oh. There's no. no customer service. So if no. you don't have like a PR person, no. you're just like locked But up. exactly. So that's why I was able to, through a company that was a third party, where they were like, okay, well, we'll see what happens. And then one day I woke up and my handle was coming out. <laughs> and I was like, cool, awesome. Amazing. I love it. So I think definitely that helped because as far as just the name, obviously everybody's like, oh, well, that that's – like following at Dave or at John or at Bob or, you know, something like that. Yeah. It just as funny in the name as in itself. But I've noticed that I don't have random fans, even though I have that kind of very, like, open kind of handle. A lot of the fans that – well, most of the fans that I have are people that are interacting with me all the time, that know who I am, mm-hmm. that watch what I do, that um, know what my life is. And I – I never, almost never have to encounter somebody that's just, like, completely off-brand unless they think I'm Camila Cabello. That's the one that I get all the time in my, like, unactive DMs. Um, People will be like, is this Camila Cabello? Or can you, like, things about music? And I'm just like, no, no. Or, like, a news anchor will be like Yahoo or somebody will tag me as Camila Cabello. And I'm like, guys, you're Yahoo. Come on. You must. But I'll take it. But I'll take it. Right. (laughs) Exactly. Right. (laughs) Right. Exactly. So those are, yeah, those are the kind of little things. But um, no, but she runs a type shit. That's for sure. You know, people that do follow her, you know, either they love her or they're going to, you know, uh, speculate, Mm -hmm. hate and speculate on the side because Mm. she is constantly uh, checking people. Anytime anyone oh, yeah. goes out of hand, she's saying anything, <laughs> especially on Twitter. She puts them on blast, and then her uh, her fans do the rest. Really? So Got my army. Yeah, <laughs> do you yeah, think sure. that's because the character you play is a little feistier from what I've heard? Like, isn't she a little... Um, I think there's a like, there might be an essence of that, Okay. Um, as in recent, maybe the last year or so. But I think that this is something that has been coming from the minute that I started social media. Hmm. I've never changed my bio. My bio has always been, if you have nothing nice to say, do not say anything hmm. at all. Just, just like, zip it. So I've made that very clear on all my social media. I've actively... Um, kind of patrolled yeah. and I've also called people out and a lot of the times people don't like to get called out and people kind of know that if they act a certain way on my social media they're going to get called out in a not really nice way okay. and so sometimes that kind of stops people from being like well I should just say something because yeah. even my fans will say Camila doesn't stand for that so you better correct oh, yeah, your I've behavior. Oh yeah I've seen those comments in my old man they know it. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We kind of struggle because I go back and forth and like when I hear it from your point of view that makes a lot of sense. I still sometimes think that, like, do you ever think of, like, the, I look at it this way, where I, I'll see, like, a negative comment, and I go, if I comment on it, then that negative person knows they got my attention, yeah. and I almost think of it as, like, let me just, per, like, they, they won't get the satisfaction from me. Right. But then you look at every other celebrity comebacks, and they're like, oh, these are dope. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, yeah, but yeah, I think yeah, it's just the I way you know, go like, about it, and everybody has their own, like, for example, this exact conversation I was having with Brandon Bearish and Victoria Conifal. And everybody has their way. Mine was, put them on blast. And Brandon was like, ignore, ignore, ignore. I don't comment back on comments. I erase the comment, block the person, and then... Screenshots and put put them up. And then I spotlight their behavior. After I've done all of this, I make the screenshots, I put it on my story, and I call it my troll spotlight of the day. I don't do it every day. (laughs) This is just what happens on a day if I happen to get a nasty troll. Yeah, because right, that. like there's there's definitely many of them, so you can't be. I'm not gonna, like, yeah, exactly. But there's sometimes, levels. I mean, yeah. it yeah. just, I think you know, it goes along with everything else. The kind of day you're having, and you know, sometimes you're just like, no, I need something. I need to say something. Well, sometimes bullies yeah. need to kind of be called out, and yeah. that's something that I've dealt with. I've dealt with girls being mean and and talking things that I've I haven't said or you know instigating problems and for me the way that I've resolved it and again everybody's case is completely different there's no way that this could apply to everybody um for me my my case with that was always to attack it head on and go to an adult and say no that person's doing something that's unfair and calling it out and not staying quiet and that's what I've always known so that's why I do that because I I know nothing else. Right. Yeah, what they don't know is that Camila was born. Uh, what do you call it in Calle Ocho in Miami already, you know, <laughs> parading everybody <laughs> and talking about the Cuba Libre and all that stuff. So that's she, a whole she's different a thing. Fighter. Yes. She's a natural yeah. fighter. Yeah. Yeah. 
but it puts people in their place. Just way we can, you know, use this tool for good. And I just think it's so interesting that people. I, I love like if you don't agree with something, it's the way you say it. There yeah. are people you know are deliberately deliberately being mean and the funny thing is a lot of the people that are mean follow my page they like actively follow me if you hate me and if you're gonna say something mean about me why do you follow me it is the funniest just yes absolutely moronic thing ever so that's why i start with seeing if they follow me and then i'm like this person is just absolutely out of their mind so do you think they know that they're on troll spotlight or do you block them and they a lot of them it? know because my fans make it a point i oh. even tell my fans hey go to this account and report this account for hate oh, for hate gosh, speech gosh. for bullying and and they'll do it and one day you know i'll, I'll get people to be like 30 uh, 30 accounts reported this account and i'm like thank you that's what should wow. be done and I, and i also see from that day at the event the day's event where a lot, of, a lot of times also just the Days fans are also very committed. And I can mm. see it also as well. And protected. Even on your end yeah. as well. You know, so I, I've got so many of them that support my page of her mm-hmm. fans more than the people that are following me that have been following me for however long. Um, yeah. So the, the fans that are coming from Days are also very involved yeah. um, and engaged, highly engaged on, on social media and, and support. They patrol. They yeah. support. Yeah. They, they, you know, the fans, honestly, the Days fans, I, I say to Camila, they give you the support that sometimes you're kind of looking for your family yeah. members to do for you. You know, you got cousins That's and stuff and they're putting, and you're like, it's I wish that. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> what is that? You experience that too, huh? I just don't think people get the sh- because, like, even people who watch this or watch us on days, we are paid or people like it because we make it look easy. You still they don't know the daily struggles, and that's why I want to start talking a little bit more about it. But I just feel like because all my family's supportive, but they just don't know in depth like what the hell's really going on. It's kind of just like oh, like that's cool. Yeah. I'm like, there was like three years of work that went into like. You know what I mean? Yeah. And or, not only not only family. I'm talking about people even right here in the industry that are just supposedly professionals, 10 plus, 20 plus years, that are literally shocked when we tell them the work that we do. Hmm. And I'm like, you guys are in the same industry and you don't know that one of, we are the one of the hardest working people in this industry. You don't know that we shoot these amount of episodes. You don't know that we shoot these amount of scenes. It is incredible to me that we always have to continue to educate people because it's just something that they're ignorant about. Our me, our industry, specifically soap opera, is something that we've been very hush hush about. Specifically, because I've seen how hard you guys work, and then when I go on set uh, for something that's you know I'm thinking prime time, oh man, it's going to be a lot more intricate. I'm like, no, these guys have have a two, two, three weeks to shoot one episode, and you know. That's why they're going crazy out of their minds, you know, in their downtime and working on two, three projects. Um, and that's why, you know, part of when I took entrepreneurship, I said, well, I'm going to have a lot of time. I, even on, when we're on set waiting, to, um, you know, on the trailer waiting to be on set, you're going, I could be doing something Well, they productive. changed lighting for two hours. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be an adjustment, right, to do the – because that's what I like is that we – I just don't want to wait around because I've, I've been hearing through the grapevine because I haven't auditioned in like seven years because I decided just like I'm just going to do days, work on other projects. Um, but I'm hearing from everyone that like in 2007, 8, 9, I was auditioning four times a week. Everyone I hear to talk to now is like once a month, once a month. So I'm like I got to have other things going so that I don't just feel like hopeless. Or you don't feel like when you get that – audition you haven't had one in so long that it's like so nerve-wracking mm-hmm. or so unfamiliar or whatever the situation may be exactly yeah it's 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 crazy i i watched an interview with robert downey jr um on the joe rogan podcast i don't know if you ever watch his podcast it's yes. yes um and i think it was either that interview or another interview that he was saying how he had like six lines in one day and like was memorizing the first letter of each of his words i'm like Robert Downey Jr., the A-list movie star. I was like, you have 12 hours for six lines. That's it's what so I'm weird to me that we don't, like, I guess we don't each understand what the other person's going through. Like, I don't know. It's going to be an interesting transition. I do know it. because I literally you last do, yeah. year I was working simultaneously in a primetime show and I was seeing it. I mean, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to talk bad about either one because yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they have their, their positive and negatives. But, yeah, when you are on a set and they're literally taking three plus 
four, like three plus hours to change lighting, it doesn't feel like there's any sense of any responsibility. There's, it doesn't even feel like there's respect towards the project because I don't feel like it's, it's just whatever. Everybody's just on their own time and it's just taking forever and we're waiting for that person and this person's now we're waiting two more hours. And I, there were some points where I would go off to a cafe outside of my trailer and just sit in the cafe and work for two hours, three hours. Because you're like, I'm just waiting. Did you feel though like that repetition at days though has made it where you look – like, did you just, like, look at your sides and go, oh, my God? Absolutely. And not only that, they did that to me. They would add lines literally right there on the spot. And they were like, well, she can handle it because she does way more than than any of these people do on a regular basis. And now they were putting that on me because because I do this on a regular basis. So now I'm being treated this one way because we, <laughs> you know, but I don't get the thing. time that everybody thing. else yeah. gets. It's a good, it's thing. A good thing. But at the end of the day, that's not how it should be. We should all be treated the same way. We should all be given the lines when we should be given, you know, whatever. I get it, though. I can be given that, you know, line and, and, and they know that I'm going to run with it and they know that I'm going to kill it. So that was, like, the good part of it. That was, like... And that's a huge asset to have. You know, whenever you do, you're, you're like, okay, I'm ready to go out there and audition. You have a huge advantage over so many people. Where, you know, it, yeah. it happens. We all know it as actors out here in L.A. We'll show up to the audition and they're like, oh, wait, uh, we changed the sides. You guys will look at them a couple minutes and you're going in there and you're, you're, you're looking prepared. Like you had those lines the, the, the previous night. I mean, some other people. I mean, I just see it from Camila. She'll, she'll yeah. be like, come, baby, come on. You got to gotta digest those those words in already. And I'm like, baby, I'm not you, baby. Like, I wish. But, so yeah. Just think of it like a story. <laughs> yeah, she has, she has, that's the thing. You you come up with so many tricks, the experience that you have. She has so many ways. She'll like, yeah, I'll just try this. We try all that. find little things. She has you know? so many things. And I'm just like, oh, wow, you've had the, the time to come up with all that. She has a. Well, that's what that in- awesome our industry tools, does. Yeah. It, 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 Shows you so many tools and but, so many. But because of that, I will say, right? Every time Camila goes, you know, books a project where it's, you know, two an episode or two, they'll see how great she is, and she'll end up shooting five. You know, happened with Mistress, happened the same thing with, you know, uh, Stars on Fox. Yeah. The last few projects, you know, it's she goes in, she booked two episodes, and they'll see the work that she does that one or two day, and they're like, uh, give this girl more lines. So of course, it always is going to help us. We're not green. You know, we're, sure. we're, we, we've been working for years and years and years. And and you're bringing a level of work, right, that's seasoned. A lot of people are going in there, and, you know, even myself. I'm not necessarily on set every single day. So when someone, you know, like, let's say you, with the experience of specific that you guys got, you'll go in there and you'll soak the material in a way where it doesn't even look like, uh, it, it's just like water. It's just like, oh, man, yeah, effortless. Yeah. You know, these people really look like you had it all along, and that's amazing. Well, and so for anyone who's listening and maybe doesn't understand what the schedule's like, how many scenes you guys do, when do you get the scripts, like, can you kind of explain that and take us on that journey, what that looks like? Yeah. We kind of have the same with, mem- like, you said yeah. you don't look night before anymore, right? Nope. Too much anxiety, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the one, right? Because, you know, I, 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 I know. need to be, I over-prepare. Yeah. I'm that guy. That's me too. I'm that guy. I'm like, me she's too. like, baby, oh, you need to take But that's how back. you start. That's how I was at first. Yeah. I, at first, been doing that for right so long. when I first started, I would take the scripts and like, oh my God, obsess and like take them with me everywhere and just like, oh my yeah. God. And I'm just like, I can't do that. We now. would at least run at the I night before. I would make myself crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and then she'll just show up day built. of and she's just soaking it in that same day. Well, when you get into a rhythm of your character, when you've been doing it for so long and okay. even when you have different writers, they kind of still write the same way and you kind of know how your character speaks and it becomes easy like I said you learn kind of like the story the situation of the day or the scene and Mm -hmm. kind of just rolls off the tongue I mean I'm not gonna lie to you we run it a few times with our amazing um acting coach Maria O'Brien um and I'm constantly like Maria Maria, can I use you? Yeah, or, there's you know, one of her and a lot of you guys. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. yeah. And, or I'm like, hey, what's your schedule? You got people? I need to get in, okay? Thank you. I love how Maria, too, she, she's like, just goes with the flow. And she's like, I'm going to go find Chandler. We're like, oh, we'll go run up. No, 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 get comfortable. I'm going to go find Chandler. And she'll go upstairs and mm-hmm. look around, and she goes, "Okay, Chandler's gonna be coming. What, what page are you on?" Like yeah. she's so. She's got this air like Mellow. nothing, yeah. nothing can phase her. Nothing. One time, I'm like, I, one time I was bold. like, "Hey, Maria, I really, really gotta run these scenes, man. I'm about to go up." She's like, "No, we have time. I'm gonna go run with this person first. I'll come find you. <laughs> like you come find." 
me? What do you mean? No. It's a big studio and I'm about to go up. Oh, my gosh. So then for perspective for listeners, how many scenes do you guys shoot a day when you go into work? Our item list is, what, 60 scenes? About average 50 to 60 scenes yeah. a day. Um, heavy days, we, we've done up to 80 scenes. Yeah. Um, and then individually we do take, correct? seven to ten. Um, it depends, you know, sometimes I'm in there and I'll do like, you know, seven items and then another yeah. chunk in the end of the day with five more and another one in the middle. <laughs> do, you, do you know how many eps that you do in a 12 month period? He does not. I feel like there's certain people like I'll go to work and I'm just like, there's never a day that I'm at work where I won't see like specific like six people, you being one that I just feel like, like you're always there. Like, I also feel working. like the like, way they big work. I feel yes I also feel like the way that they schedule me is very particular to other people and I and I I say this with the most respect and love in my heart but I feel like they want me to be there nine to five so they don't want me to be out auditioning so what they do is that I'll, I'll have the same amount of episodes as other people or like like few maybe like three but then they'll space them out for five days where I have to come in from the morning to the afternoon for five days, for three episodes. And I'm like, really? That's Did I need to be here for this? When you guys, you know, you, they've created a monster in all of you guys. Where you guys are so, you're soaking up the material so fast, so good. Where, yeah, she's like, I've got, we've got I, we just get this done today. Like, well, let's just do it today. You know, and then I've got the rest of the week or whatever, you know? Especially yeah. in that. Maybe because they know that I don't audition. That's why I have a dope <laughs> schedule. I'm in and out all the time. When I see Kiriakis Mansion, I'm like... Three hour day. Yeah, this guy. He, I he feel like they, they. I feel like they like to keep me busy so that I'm not like thinking of other things. Or so, to do. or so she thinks. Right? This is my. Uh, this is just my like weird head thought about it because of the way that it's happened of scheduling. <laughs> you know, I, I actually talked to Randy, one of the producers, for anyone who's watching. Um, and he he actually I never did this. He said you you should come up and I'll show you how everything works because things are color coded, like we're all different colors and like. And I, I we should actually be on the podcast. I wonder if he'd be allowed right. to explain that to everybody. Maybe that'd be really that. cool. But he goes, they they base on like like who can handle two episodes, mm. um, what sets, what schedule, and everything is done by color. And I was like, huh? He goes, come up, I'll show you how it all works. And I haven't done it yet. Well, there you go. But I'm very interested in like I know it's by the sets. working parts of thirty yeah. actors and. I can't even That's imagine on its own. Thirty so many more people. more specific thirty personalities. Yes. Of that, yeah. Yes. Whoa. What did you uh, What did you two do during the the long break? I know we, we talked a little bit out, outside that you were in the Dominican Republic for yes. a little while, but what what was the uh, How was your holidays? Like, what What did you do? Did you jump out of a plane? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Uh, Camila, for my thirty third birthday, I had already kind of started talking about. What the hell? I want to jump out of a plane. Skydive. You know? I, I want to sky wanna, Yeah, I'd love to skydive and. I think I had just also seen Will Smith's video where he's like, you know, the worst part is really right before you jump. Mm. You know, I, I, yeah. No, well, well, the whole no. He said, no, wait. I said it wrong. I think the worst part really is just everything up to before you yeah. jump. He goes, and everything after that is blissful. It's it's amazing. I mean, I was even saying it is blissful. It's blissful. <laughs> um, in the video, I'm, I'm, you know, my, I'm just exerting so much energy. I'm talking. I'm going on saying all this like. He's talking so much. Um, he's like people. Feel and the guy's like, can you just shut up and enjoy it, bro? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He he on does like 40. Down. These guys do 40, 40 jumps a day. Stop. Some of these guys are doing 40 jumps a day. So I'm sure they're just like. He's talking his ear off. All right, man. Get out, get out of your system. Amazing. Go ahead. You know, but I was there like. Ah, oh my God, I love it. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm alive. Yeah, baby. I told you I could do it. You can do it. You can do it. Everybody should do it. Oh, uh, my God. But yeah, it, it really, it's insane. It was a, a, a tiny plane. I mean, we had to. To pretty much she like squat she, in. No, no. She didn't even want to drive me. I didn't even want to know when it was happening. Yeah, I was like, just like, let me know when you're done. I was like, oh, yeah, it'd be wow. great if you could come, like, kind of record us all, like, you know, driving there. And she was like, no, I don't want to <laughs> so be part of that. Something States? happens. I don't want to. Yeah, this yeah. is here in California. Yeah, this is in November. Yeah, in November, I think it happened. And uh, Or Camarillo. Gosh, yeah, okay. yeah, in Camarillo, yes. And, and a friend of mine had done it about three, four times already in just one month. So I was, was like, hey, uh, you want to go one more time, you know, cover some of it? He's like, yeah, man, for sure. Let's go. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. I mean, honestly, for me, I feel like I've had some challenges in my life where I feel like I haven't necessarily been performing at my full potential. Hmm. 
you know, and, and that and maybe that's a thing where we'll always feel that way. But I certainly haven't necessarily rose to where I think I should be, at least so far. Right. So, yeah, what I've begun to do is say, well, I don't think I've I've taken maybe just like, in the, you know, I've put my foot in the water, but I haven't really taken the dive. Right. right? And to, to say literal. So I, that I started with like literally being like, OK, well, I'm going to take the, the, the plunge. I'm going to take the dive in. And, uh, the video is hilarious. Yeah, if anybody yeah, yeah. wants to go check it out, it's on yeah. Akina Meyer on Instagram. It's on Instagram. Yeah. I don't think um, I've seen that. It's yeah, hilarious. Yeah. My dad, you see his face. He's like, yeah. it's great. Yeah, and it's only a it's portion of blessed. it. That's so great too. I get to the bottom. Like I said, how's it feel? And you just, I just landed. So I was like, whoo, man. Like, uh, I mean, that, that's it. I did it. <laughs> how, how was it? Was Will Smith? Was that accurate then? Like you? Yeah. Like oh there, man. Yeah. It, it, it was. You know, I was like, I'm gonna pass out for sure. I want to pass out. I was, <laughs> I'm like, that guy's gonna be like, oh, this was an easy one. <laughs> but but no, yeah, literally, you're just there, and you're just like getting a hold of things, and you're just like, just calculative in your head. Kind and of he like, saw his, he says he saw his friend go first. So when he saw. Oh, him, that was the worst thing. Yeah, next thing you do it, go dropped, first. Like a, he do said it, he just yeah, dropped yeah, like a yeah. piece of. He, it just looked like he was dropping like a dime or something <laughs> even smaller, like a pin. I, I just saw him and I took a oh, shit. I was like, oh. No. <laughs> Oh no! Like, God, I wish I hadn't seen that right now. <laughs> you know, but I'm already like I'm I'm, I'm attached Strapped to the guy. To this man. I was trapped. No. There's no. Um, so does your stomach drop the entire time? Like you know when you go on a roller coaster? <laughs> that's what my fear. is. No, it it, 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 it it's it literally happens like the yeah right where like everything just tines up. It, it just it uh, mo- moments. It's just like moments right after it just kind of you just let go okay you just gradually yourself feel like calming down you know like you're thinking (laughs) that the whole time you're gonna have enough energy to go that was me (sighs) but at some point you're just like okay man that's (laughs) that's why i didn't even want to know because i was getting anxiety and i was the one that got him this gift but i knew that that's something he wanted yeah so yeah, like, sometimes, like I said, you need to find a partner that's going to help you be your better self. So it's one of these things like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm, hey, I'm ready to do it. People are like, hey, you let me know when you want to do it. I'm ready to do it. Like, yeah, I'm going to tell you, man. We're going to do it soon. I that that moment you. never came. You know, she's like, hey, uh, here you go. Now you got to do it. And even then, oh, I, t- I, I waited till yes. the ticket almost expired. A year after. It's like, hey, man, you gotta, you're going to wow. do it. You got to do it, right? Like I said, with everything in life, right? Yeah. We all want to do so many things. Yeah. Yeah, but it was right. When it comes down to too. doing it, no, no scheduling. But part of it, a big part of it for sure, was like this jumping the plane thing is crazy, <laughs> too. Wow. Like a lot of the things, right? Even being an actor, like my boy says, "Hey, man, what you've done?" Like even you know the last role that he saw that I was in, he's like, "Dude, I've never really you know seen that like life of acting that you, that you you know that you did in this past one." And I gotta say, man, you're fucking good. And I was like, "Thank you, man. You know, it's, it's been a process. It's been a process, mm-hmm. but just like the jumping, it, it's." There's that moment where, like, you know, you tell yourself, all right, I'm going to do it. And then it takes a moment to actually get the engines going and, and working up to actually doing it. Yeah. So, yeah, the moment came. I finally, you know, I booked it. I, I had a friend it November, that did right? it with me. Yeah, this past November. And it was one of those things where, like, you know what? I'm going to end the year strong. This is one of the things I'm going to do. It's going to lead into the other things so I'm going to start doing. Uh, I've been looking momentum. into cold showers, cold baths. I recently started doing that as well. So I'm starting to Love just that. kind of really, you know, play outside my my boundaries, zone. my yeah. outside my comfort zone. Kind of like, okay, cool. Maybe you know what most people to you is like, oh man, I wish I was doing that, and you're kind of doing it, but you're like, yeah, but you know, we don't, and this happens with Camila. People are like, oh, I would love to be where you're at. And Camila's like, man, I want to be doing so much more. And the person that doesn't have that is always like, oh man, like I wish that person. I don't think that person really understands what they have. But it's like, no, that person is there because they've always had that yearning for more. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that person can't be where they are if they, ever, if they woke up one day and didn't have that drive because then someone else is going to come and take it. Yeah. So for me, it's been one of those things where, like, I need to step outside my zone and start doing, you know, these other stuff that really I've, I've talked about doing and or kind of associated myself with and never really did it. So I'm doing it and, hope, and hoping that that translates in everything else in my yeah. life. It will. It will, yeah. And, you- I, and I think, too... Um, not, not to interrupt no. you, but I just want to, one more, one, the, the, uh, <laughs> the thing that you said, though, about, um, about, uh, no, I lost my train of thought. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say, because have you guys heard of the uh, Gwyneth Paltrow Goop Netflix series? And they kind of dive into all these different natural ways of living. Mm-hmm. And one of them, they went to this big guru who was all about, like, 
obviously stepping outside your comfort zone, but there was, what was it? They all jumped into freezing cold water. Yeah. They were doing a whole, they did a whole episode on yeah. the benefits of, of just getting control of your mind. And I just think that we're going through a transformation that no one's really talking about. They are, but I don't think our minds as humans are ready for the amount of information that we're getting on a daily basis. And I've noticed a change in me, just that I feel like I'm getting wiser, I'm getting stronger, but my anxiety and just things are through the roof because I just feel like I'm plugged in 24 seven and I'm like a mess. And I'm like, I'm getting, things are working really well. We're in a better place yeah. today than we were in a long time, but yet it just, do, 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 just constant, constant. We're over simulated in a yeah. very crazy concentrated world mm-hmm. and it's just I feel the same way I'm a, I'm a happy person I have I'm a healthy person my family is healthy I have nothing to complain about and I have anxiety and I have stress and I have all these things but why you know it's because of other influences that you cannot control and you have to try to just like you said well for those those same reasons you know I unfortunately did unfollow some people at the beginning of the year I said all right here's this person I like this person this person is nice it's like, but a lot of times the content that they're posting, I go, I don't, it's not necessarily for me. So mm-hmm. hopefully, so that I'm not just there taking up, you know, hurting maybe their engagement rate or whatever. Because maybe some and out here in LA, some people actually care about that stuff. <laughs> I go, I'm going to do them the favor only because, you know, I, I'm not really liking their stuff. So I barely see it. Right. So I was like, and not only that, but because I'm trying to be more focused, right? Because there's so much stuff. It's so easier now to get access to, to people on social media and, and create new relationships. But at the same time, right, then the relationships also become very kind of um, not as deep, not as deep, yeah. right? It's very artificial. It becomes about a tip or tap. Um, and so it's great, a great tool, but it's also very good to know how to use it. And I think learning and learning to use it, it's almost in kind of doing away with it a little bit, too. Yeah. So I've begun to just like narrow down my followers kind of, you know, it's like, hey, you have a million followers. Um, but like how many of those are you really engaging with really building relationship yeah. with um, and to me I'm like let's get focused let's narrow down you know and even if it's like 10 people that, that daily say hey Marlon keep doing what you're doing those are the people I want to focus on yeah, yeah. and uh, do, you, do you see yourselves um, like what do, you, what do you think for like not too long term but do you see yourselves like building a, a life here in California do you see yourselves somewhere else do you see yourselves hmm. always 100% into the <laughs> acting world when i say family i mean you know what i mean just in general like building a building a life and and do you see like your future here in california and well for me um i'm not sure and i think that that's something that needs to be said a lot Mm -hmm. um i think a lot of people get asked that and they feel like this pressure to answer something and this pressure to say something or to have this goal this dream that you've had since you were a child no never had those dreams of getting married i've never been that girl that's planned their wedding no i live how i've lived but that's just how i am you know moment to moment so for me um there is some future planning i mean there's some like responsible future planning but i feel like i'm not sure i'm yeah, not yeah. sure we're, I, we're I, open, this industry we're open to change yeah. especially as an actor where we're choosing to this is going to be our passion so we're kind of like you're saying, you know, in the schedule uh, with days and this and that, you're like, you have little control of, of that. And very, this you know, industry controls you, yeah. you know, it tells you what that. jobs you get to have and when you get to work and when you don't. And so that thing, I think that that matters to us as far as like when we do, you know, want to move on to a, Com- a, another stage in our in, life. In the East Coast or I book something in the East Coast, right? And it changes we're, things. We're, you ready know, to, and we're, it, we're up for it and ready. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of how we are too. We don't. I just don't know. Yeah, Our, exactly. We, we, we don't have a clear path. Like everything is, uh, like we go back and forth. Like you just never know. Like <laughs> I think it, I think if if and when the time is right for certain things, it will be very clear. Mm-hmm. It will be very clear, and it will happen. And and there's I, I don't believe in in coincidences, and I think that you know that there's. There's a reason for everything, and I think that the way that we live is beautiful. I think that we have plans for our future. I mean, essentially, you know, I, I see myself with this man. I, I definitely have. We've been together for eight years, and I'd love to start a family with him. I just don't know when and Yeah, if you don't how, have a target, and, you know, right? How can you can you hit that target if you don't have a target? But you got to be malleable, I, I believe. I mean, Camille always like, hey, we got to allow also for life to do its own thing. I follow uh, this guy, David Meltzer, and he always says, you know, 
when we put a time limit on things. Oh, I want to be this when I'm, you know, this age, like I did even with acting. Oh, I want to be at this point when I'm at that age. Mm. You're actually creating resistance because life doesn't know about doing certain things in a time limit. Right. You know, that's evolved uh, in its evolution has taken time and it's come at its own pace. pace. So the that. same thing with the, you know, with I think our lives too. And it's just like, you know, we were talking about earlier, you know, the, people passing as we get older and you it just makes you realize that you know we shouldn't we should be doing more than really mm-hmm. planning as much and you know and, and things will kind of just happen exactly that's because i think that's what we keep looking at is that you know we we moved from our our family hmm. and now that we've been out here this june will be 14 years i keep looking back and be like i missed all of my parents 50s you know it's like yeah. you talk yeah. And then we've got like little ones in the family now, like little nieces. And they're growing and up they're without growing you. up and we're not there. So it's like at what point is it all, you kind of have to make a decision like what, you know, what are we going to do? Right. And, and so that's why we're, we're always like looking in, and that's why we, we've just been fascinated with trying to find ways that, you know, we could be in this industry, but maybe be able to live more East Coast and closer to family and, and just taking it day by day, but also because as we've gotten older, we kind of grew patience. Mm-hmm. Where I used to be, my buddy Mio used to make fun of me because when I was 19, I would sit with my sides and I would just smack my hand and be like, I got a book. Like I'm talking like a, like a crazy person of like my uh, un, uh, un, uh, un, unrational obsession. Where now I want that same thing, but I'm, I'm happy with my life. I'm, I'm, yeah. Whatever happens, happens as long as I'm up and to the right, you know, right. like yeah, learning, yeah, growing exactly. and all that. So like the, the patience of it. Um, Benjamin. What's Benji doing? Come here, buddy. Um, and then you just you got, got did, did you get your new, you got a new house now, what, six six months ago? It's been, yeah, five, six months, yeah. We are we had a, thank you, we had a bit of an issue at the top of the year with our other house. I don't know if I told you or something. car, right? Yes, yeah, somebody crashed into our house. So that was an interesting situation and a, a bombastic way to start the year. <laughs> wow. But, um, but it put a fire under both of our butts and it was just kind of like, well, you know, Maybe a change is about to happen. Even that, right? You don't move into a house thinking two, three years later you're going to be selling it and moving. But it ended up being a better move in a better area. The house layout. I mean, just we're just much happier with everything. Yeah. Um, and again, it was an inconvenient. It was something that it was, you know, just unpredicted. But, oh, man, I kind of like the way it worked out. And you we just, just kind of swing with it. Everything. and. Yeah. We're happy. We just got our jacuzzi. I have my old school oh, vintage fridge. Yes, got a jacuzzi, man. Fridge. Oh, what city are you? North Hollywood. Okay. Because okay. mm-hmm. yeah, now the house that I went to do that YouTube video with you like a year or two ago on Victory. Or that, off of Victory. No, that, that the that's the one that got, that got crashed. That was the house that got crashed. Yeah. But then you have a, then you have another house too? My mom's house. Got you. Because yeah, I remember like back in the day, I remember you telling me that you have the house and then the guest home mm-hmm. and then like renting it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, that's so smart. My mama's house. Yeah. Yeah. Um, We're which, all... by the way, there's so many opportunities now, which that's like a, a huge thing now. We're like Airbnb, right? Where now I, I realized I just came across where instead of buying a home and of course then, you know, with that implant to do Airbnb, a lot of people are even just renting from people that are, uh, that are renting from renters and then using it as Airbnb with that agreement that they're going to use it for that. So that way, oh, you know, wow. you're, wow. it's a lot easier for you to invest your, your money into yeah. and not think, oh. oh, man, I need to put this much down and then a house and then worry about the mortgage. Yeah, but a lot of places don't allow you. No, no, but exactly. The, the, you have to do the research. You have to know. You have to do some. Have yeah. the deal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the idea is that, you know, we're yes. talking about, like, there's so many things that we could be doing because I love acting. But I even like I said, man, this guy just... He just shot Aladdin, and he's here th- talking about he hasn't had an audition since Aladdin. Or, you know, I'm thinking, <laughs> so you know, crazy. and I'm thinking just like you, like, well, I've been away from family too long already. Like, my goals have now to be about how do I get, how make more time for my family members. Where's your family at again? In the East Coast, in Florida, Tampa. Okay. And most of them are in New York, spread out, you know, in all the boroughs, but... Yeah, they're on the East Coast too. So just like you, I'm missing out tons of events. My my nephews, siblings. you know, growing up without us. Yeah, siblings. Mm-hmm. Even my little brother. You know, now that he's you know he's getting he's in, in high school now. We're th- he's starting to talk a little bit more to me, and uh, you know all these things that I'm doing, like the coach shower stuff. He's he's really intrigued by it. And he's, <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna do it too. He started doing it with me. He just texted me today, and he was like, "Bro, I, I did it today. It was my second time this week." 
you know, and he, he himself is talking about how he feels. It's, I, you know, he goes, man, I feel a surge of energy when I get out. I was going to yeah. ask you earlier, what are the benefits of that? Oh, man, so it's, it's tons. Inf- uh, anti-inflammatory mm-hmm. um, helps you uh, with stress. Your because skin. obviously, like, we were talking about that mm-hmm. mental um, game that you're really dealing with there. Because, I mean, the second I go in, I'm like, ah, ah, I can't talk. You know, but by the time I'm... The I'm, pipes I'm, here are cold. It gets cold. Oh, so the water is cold. cold. Yeah. 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 I was like, maybe I should just do it like halfway. I'm like, nah, man. You don't nah, do it. Nah, right? nah, nah, nah. Um, so. But yeah, uh, it helps with stress. Um, your blood vessels, your immunity, uh, your immune system, it really boosts it. So, you know, it just gets the white cells uh, working. Also, like Camille was saying, the skin, even I was like recently... I'm with like, working oh, out, man. it helps with his well, muscles. Yeah, the muscle recovery uh, portion of it. Honestly... I was, you know, I'm, I'm one to be skeptical. I'm like, yeah, like all these people say all this stuff, and you know, but I'm like, I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's the showers, but I'm like, I, I do, I do feel a, a difference in, 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 in many areas. Um, so yeah, it's really cute to see have like that relationship with my brother and everything. But you know, they're already 15. I missed a whole ton already, you know. But yeah. but the good thing is that I do think they they are, you know, our families do look at what we're doing. And we're hopefully, I'm, I'm thinking, inspiring them to think bigger. I mean, I'm probably the first in my family to do something like, yeah, I'm just going to go out to California and yeah. try being an actor. I mean, I was growing up in my household where, like, hey, you're going to go to school. And exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're going to follow that system. And I was like, I don't know if that system works for me. Mm-hmm. So all my brothers now and sisters are like, oh, man, I should probably do something else. Yeah. Um, and, I'm, and, and, you know, my parents are like, well, be careful what you tell them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, their parents are always being protective, period. Yeah, That's just their yeah, job, yeah, you know? Sure. It should be that way. But in life, you got to go out there and get bums, get roughed up, and, mm-hmm. and that's the only way you learn. Exactly. It's not for everyone to go to college either. We're starting to see that. Did you go? I went here, Pasadena City, and also LA uh, Valley, but that was when I was shooting one episode a week, one every two weeks. Mm-hmm. And then once they started giving us heavier storyline and we had Ariana and all the stuff, I had to stop because it was just too much with homework and classes yeah, and three hour lectures and like there's no way I can work on the scripts like this. Three hour lectures and three hour ho- uh, homeworks. Yeah. I-, I tried going back just because you know my dad at 50 years old decided he was you know he, that was the only regret he had. So he's like mm. I'm gonna go back and finish then he went back and minored doubled and minored in something else. Well, so I was like I think I could you know I think I could do it too. I'm like what the heck? And I went back and I was just like man three hour homework. You know, three-hour class and then, you know, three hours doing homework. Yeah. It's like, that's six hours. I could be doing something else with that. So that's when my whole idea started coming up with, like, I need to start a business because if I'm going to spend six hours doing something, I'd rather be investing the time and the money in myself than in the education system. So then hopefully then something come out of it. Sure. And do, yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's crazy. We, 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 are, we do have a lot of opportunity now, so it's just picking our energy and, or, mm-hmm. and figuring out where to exactly. put it and all of that. And um, Speaking uh, of opportunities, I want to ask you, because uh, a few nights ago I was looking at uh, on your YouTube channel and I was like, I didn't know that, you know, your proposal? I was like, I didn't know that, I never, I didn't, I was like, when did this come out? Yes, but you missed it. <laughs> yeah, I totally like, missed it. Missed so when it. I told Camila about it, she's like, really like now and i'm like I, I don't know when it went off I, you know yeah um great video dude that was amazing you, beautiful yeah. surprise yeah. yeah i was like i was like i need to take some notes like i was like this is genius i was like when i as you laid it out i was like i, I had to like, go big i'm i'm a i'm a spontaneous romantic person but not like over the top so i said for the engagement i was like i gotta go like make up for anything that I didn't go over the top with over the decade we've been together. So I was like, what can we do? Yeah. And, um, and yeah, we just, good. yeah. And then we, we just hired someone to come and shoot it. Cause I was like, that'll be something that people will always Memories. watch. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but yeah, we were, we kind of oddly just never, um, we kind of looked at YouTube as like a, Oh, it's just something to, cause we were so big on Instagram and Facebook and, yeah. and then about almost a year ago now we started seeing the, the extra value in YouTube. And I was like, we need to start really like giving this a hundred percent because there's a whole community. I just wasn't aware of the YouTube community because I wasn't on it. Now that I'm an audience member of YouTube, I go, this is like the greatest platform in the world ever. And so I'm glad we put up that engagement video because this is before we had monetization. 
and the video has like over a hundred thousand views. I'm like, babe, we never had it monetized and we were qualified. <laughs> I was like, we were missing like all this stuff. So oh, no. there's just a lot we learned. How many but... flip flop ads you could have had on that thing? <laughs> like just like, <laughs> and it's all like ring. So like yeah. the CP, like the. Uh, CPMs are high for like ring videos and all that stuff. So we're like, huh. But the ring shopping video does have ads, right? Yeah. Oh, the proposal one. Yeah, the ring shopping one was the one that was actually. Oh, the I'm sure that's right. Yeah. But we. Well, I gotta see that one. I haven't seen that one either. <laughs> I'll show yeah, Because you. you know, I'm getting I'm getting around that to that already soon, so I'm uh, taking notes. So. Yeah, it's it's quite the experience. You. Uh, Do you we think did... you'll want to like design and figure out your ring, or are you gonna? No, you don't want any of that. You trust he'll love it. I don't even need a ring. She she was like, give She's me a uh, just it. just just do it already. She's I was like, like you want a piece it. of ribbon? <laughs> what do you want? Just we're, put we're it playing, on. We were playing karaoke <laughs> in the Dominican Republic, and and we you know everyone was selecting their songs. Like Camila puts J Lo. Um, what's what's the oh, name of song? Yeah, ring on it. Yeah, yeah well, put a ring on it. Yeah. She, there was this last song she did in Spanish oh, that man. says like, "Where's the ring at?" But where's the ring at? Oh, but where's my. the ring? And she's really making fun of my family because they're they're more you know they're the ones they that seem it. to have more so investment I'm, I'm just in it. Yeah, leaning into their them, funniness. Yeah. My yeah. grandma, I speak to my grandma almost every other day, and there's not every day, if not every day, and there's not one day that she's like. When you're gonna marry Camila, marry Camila. It's like, don't marry <laughs> she even tells me. She's an older lady. She's Guys, like, get married. Go get married. She's like, she's the one. Marry her. She's like, by the church. Yeah. <laughs> Go get married by the church. <laughs> times, are, times are different, though. Like, back then, I mean, it seemed like that was, like, like now we just kind of can do it. People having kids later, get mm -hmm. married later, buying a home later. Oh, like, man. My family's traditional. They're like, you guys moved in together? Oh, so you guys are married. And that's, what just, that's it. Just do it. You know? It's like. You're testing things out we're trying to see if it works out yeah. <laughs> it's always an awkward combo because we do it too like where everyone's like asking the day I'm like we're planning it like it's gonna you yeah, know but yeah. it's just like whenever we're ready yeah whenever yeah. you're ready exactly. yeah there's a exactly. you know I've always had like me and Camila that was the thing that I really liked about her because I was in a relationship before Camila of like six seven years and well, high school you know and then sure. but anyhow there was this pressure I always felt from from her like oh we're together seven years like you know there's this we should I want to you know move in together already and all this and that and there was, you know, just most people in society, there's like this thing with just like, you know, oh, but, you know, the paper sign and then, you know, then it's legit. And when I met Camila, it wasn't like that. She was like, no, I don't believe in any of that. I'm more concerned with where we're at and what we think about, you know, the relationship and what it is to us. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's it, you know. And that, you know, I love it because that's part of the more of the reasons where, you know, when someone's like, do it, do it. You're just like, no, no, no. And someone's like, I don't really care. You're like. I want to do it. Yeah. I don't want to just do it. Yeah. yeah. You know, so I was watching the video and I was just like, that's exactly how I would have done it because obviously, you know, I'm a family person and, and I love the fact that you thought about bringing, you know, the family and, you know, to involving them. You really didn't have to, especially, you know, it's, you know, how you did it too. It was like, yeah, yeah, they didn't really have to be there, but it was great that they were there, right? Because you want to share with the loved ones too. That so moment, I was yeah. like, that to me is the thing. The, my, I couldn't just propose to Camila at a, a fancy restaurant. Um, mm -hmm. I'd rather do it at home with like her family members, hopefully mine, and you know, yeah. present. So, and if it works out that way. And then, and then the one thing, <laughs> not, too much not, that you, yeah, don't say, <laughs> not that you asked for advice, but what I learned. <laughs> no, from please, it please. Is, That's why um, I brought it up. I was like, oh, the uh, it's kind of interesting because I'm so so happy that till the end of time we'll have this amazing video. Yes. Um, but the only downside is that in the back of my mind there was so many things going on about keeping the surprise, the family, um, and it being on camera, it, you, cause even right now, like as much as we're being like authentic, you are aware you're on camera. Right. And so it's like, it was kind of like this pressure in a way that I wasn't able to maybe say like, you know, when you're intimate in bed talking, you have like little mm -hmm. nicknames or something that I would have done it a little more Freddy yeah. to Alyssa if the cameras weren't on. And even though it was still special and I surprised her, yeah. there's something cool about, I wonder like if it was no camera and it was just us, the the difference, because I felt like we were on camera. Something there, an element of that So it's as like well. kind of picking and choosing, do you want it on camera to always have, but then just the intimacy of you two, and maybe the family can pop up, but just the intimacy in the moment when no one's watching, you can flub, you can do whatever. It doesn't have to be a performance, knowing you're getting this on tape. like. 
okay, I have to pull this out. It has to look good. The cut in's going to be beautiful. Like you have all this you going on be, rather yeah. than it, just being. Which is funny because it's just happening to you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. she's just, it's another day yeah, for you. No, <laughs> she didn't know. Chilling. So, We're doing a vlog, guys. Your video was like, huh? What, 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 that's all your experience was like. Okay, that's a good, that's good advice. That. So it's kind of, yeah, that was the only thing is I remember just being in my head that I was proud of the moment, um, but I was aware that we were filming something. And it just, you know, for me, sense. I was like, huh, I just wonder if I would have just like randomly just did it, you know? Yeah. Like, and, but yeah. we have those moments all the time. So, but yeah, if you're going to tape it or not, it's, it's both. Yeah, no, beautiful. that is a thing, tape, though. That's a huge thing. tape it MOS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no sound. Yeah, just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but it is. It's, it's a thing. I, I've seen people use the video now, obviously. Like I said, it's, it's the access to it is so much easier. I've seen wedding invitations on video that I'm so like, this is a full cool. production. I'm like, this is oh, cool. Wow. That invitation was a little video. It was like them just like loving yeah, each other. My, actually, yeah, my, like, my, oh my, my uncle, God, my how uncle cute and his that? wife got married wow. last year as well, I think, October. We were in New York for a wedding in October. And yeah, the if their wedding invitation was a, like a music video, you know, all <laughs> around New York. Them kind of, in you Brooklyn. know, being cute and like, you know... <laughs> I was like, oh, this is wow. awesome. And that and was they the invitation. Just, what, emailed you like a yep. YouTube clip or something? Well, yeah. no, the the the, the email, um, that was it was like an invite, it and the like invite a... you opened it to the video. Oh, yeah. Wow. Benji. Benjamin, <laughs> we got five minutes. He's, he's protecting. Someone's he's protecting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love us, how give, I tell him like, give us five. Oh, yeah, sorry, Dad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Five I know. Minutes. But you know what? I didn't grow up with with dogs, so when I now that I see Camila, uh, especially her mom more more so, and and other people. I get, I get now that that intimacy, that relationship, because you know I'm like, what is it? Your mom sometimes would be like, uh, Kiwi, don't be eating that. That's not good for you. I'm like, I, I, you should probably just grab the thing. I don't think that she can like, you know, process it. But but I don't know. She'll like happen to really walk away, and she's like, you see, she knows. I'm like, you get you build used a to relationship. Just to him, yeah. If you talk to your dog, your child, your whatever. You talk to them, they're going to understand your inflection, your tone. Mm -hmm. doesn't matter if they don't speak the same language. doesn't matter. Your energy, essentially. Exactly, no. exactly. That's the biggest thing with dogs yeah. that I take away from them. And just recently, I was talking to Camila about it, and I was like, we need to apply more in that in our lives. Where, you know, for Camila, for example, she could come from work, and she shot an episode or two, and you know, it's one of those hard days. And, you know, she can come home, and and, and and me too from work. And I remember when I was working and selling, you know, I was like, I don't want to talk anymore than, than I did today. But when you see dogs, they, that excitement, your your mood changes. And I'm like, let's make sure to give each other that love, regardless of how tired we are. Like that first instant moment that we see each other, let's try to like really, right? Because sometimes you just get used fault. to seeing, oh, <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, babe, what's up? You know, you're just like, yeah. but when dogs come in, you change. Everything yeah. changes in the room. So I'm like, oh, we need to like steal from dogs. Like they know something. <laughs> yeah. we they know what's up. You know? They know Energy's that I'm contagious. That. It's so true. And that I, I feel like that's a huge thing. I mean, I mean, we've been together eight, seven years, eight. eight years, eight years. You guys, how long? You guys have been uh, nine, nine Look this June. Yeah. So you guys are also pushing hard times where people. I don't know about you guys, right? But I see it. You know, but for you guys, I don't know how it is, but people are like, how do you guys do it? Look, you look, it's so, fr it seems so fresh. And honestly, like, it's, you know, we have this like roommate thing where when you have roommates, you know, I try to say, be considerate. And we're always considerate with each other. And little things like that, like, we're like, babe, could we implement this? And she's like, yeah, let's do it. That's awesome. Even like recently, uh, she like takes up juicing. I'm not really like a juicer guy, but she like, you want, you want some? I'm like, nah, I'm all right. She's like, come on, babe. And you should you should. You should try at least, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I want to make some, not that much, on, yeah, but yeah, but I love that. You exactly. can tell like, you guys have really good communication. You can see and feel the love, the friendship too, which I think is everything. You know, like for all the of foundation, us, the foundation, one hundred percent. Because when you, when we all like met, I remember meeting you maybe at No Hate. Yes. That was a long time ago. Yeah, but yes. that was so At brief. Avalon. Yeah, and I didn't so get to brief. really, yeah. And we were so young, but the fact that we all, like, have come right. all this way, and we're all, like, just, we've grown in our relationships, and it's just, like, really special to see, because a lot of people still, yeah. you know, in the, that yeah. young Hollywood world didn't Yeah, at the Days together. event, I was like, we gotta hang out with these people. They're awesome. Yeah. I was like, same. I want to make, I definitely want to make the effort, though, to, to, to 
to hang out and get to know each other more because we've spent so much time to work and like and we've built a like I always say there's like a handful of people I'm friendly with everyone but I consider you like an actual friend That's you know like we spend yeah. time like we and we it's just a comfort the, level I think you know mm-hmm. it's easy exactly it's always just like hey I'm always gonna get Camila you're always gonna get Freddie like it's always like I'm never like what version it's it's yep. very simple you know and then We've always ran into each other, just like we've never had. Yeah. This is probably the longest we've ever sat yeah, down. Yeah, seriously, yeah, yeah. I, I, at that point, I had spoken to her more than you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. a day of days for each other in yeah. passing because yeah. it's, it's always like fast paced. But, I, but you know what? Time. Just off of you know, just her, I was like, he's just as great. Mm-hmm. You know, like I already knew because again, you know, certain names come up more than often, and yours is was one of them. You know, we're like, okay, you can tell that's special, you know, what you guys have. Yeah. And and then when I spoke to you, I was just like, oh, man. I was like, babe, these these people are awesome. We got to hang out with them more often. And just like you guys, we're homebodies. So, you yeah. know, like, she's the one that gets me out more. She's like, we got to hit these events, babe. You know, it's Meal, good. Like, get us out. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just a crazy person. Like, randomly, I'll just be like, let's go to the park and go on the slides. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yesterday, good, she, she had an event yesterday where it was like a boxing thing. And then after that, she was, you know, I stayed at home and she, you know, she went to like a friend's had like a game night or something. And in downtown, she's like, come, there's people here, this is some that. I'm like, I'm just going to order uh, pizza. some food. Yeah. And just like, you know, crash in at that like, point. Come on, you old man. <laughs> I have to shame him into coming. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, this year I, I we yeah that's what yeah we, so we gotta figure something. That'd out. That'd be great, like double no, dates. I think yeah. would be really. And I feel like we could do something creative too. Yeah, like it'll be nice just to brainstorm and see like what can we do to like. Yeah, I you agree. Know, I don't know I what it is. No, no, but sure. I agree. But, sure. but brainstorm, even yeah. have the talk. Even like yeah. a year ago, yeah. when we got together. We're like, what can we do? And oh, yeah, and I feel too. like you got it. You can't force something. I feel like we're waiting, and it's all gonna. Now that we're talking and getting together, there's gotta be something we can do, and that would just be an added bonus to it. Yeah, like what can we? Yeah, for sure I, I think like you were saying earlier like the biggest thing is like working with people that you know share you don't even have to share but just passionate people that are oh. passionate about what they're doing care yeah. about what they're doing honestly this is hard what you guys are doing like you said it takes uh, you know just time takes effort and and you don't necessarily get reap the rewards right away mm-hmm. yeah and it's very it easy time, like yeah. you said to just you know do one and do one maybe next month but in order to do it right and, and do it with sensitivity it, it it's a, it's a load of work. So, you know, my hat's off to you guys because yeah. it's some of the stuff that I'm also trying. I'm like, you know, shoot. I'm like, with Camila for a while, we've been talking about like, you know, we should probably do something on YouTube too, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then when I've seen what you guys have been able to, to build together, I was just like, again, part of what I was saying, they went out and did it and yeah. they're doing it and it's amazing. And I know that it takes a lot. So when I see, you know, yesterday I was just going through a bunch of, you know, on YouTube, you start watching one and I was on your, you guys' channel. I started with one and I started seeing, I went, to, I was watching Billy. So I was like, wow, look at this 9,000, 9, 9, views. I got to see this one. It's oh yeah. Amazing. This was super. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's, um, but that's all it is. There's some videos we put out, it gets 200 others that get like 15,000. You kind of don't know, but I'm just like, it's just the, it's just the reps. Yeah. And I it's said, it's just, and we yeah. enjoy it because I struggled yes. with like Twitter. I struggle with Instagram stories is my vibe. Yeah. Love it. Grid, and TikTok. Yeah. I see. Yeah. And TikTok. I love <laughs> oh, um, TikTok, But like yeah. Instagram grid, I've always struggled with. And I was like, me obviously talking, I like it. So I'm like, what a, a podcast seems to be like such a good fit for me with social, like everything that's uh-huh. out there. And I was like, I just feel at home and it feels like I can do it for a while i'm not just doing it because i'm supposed to i've right. actually found something i'm like i enjoy this yeah and you get to know people you. on a deeper level you know it's like would we have gotten together tonight if you know if it if, if we didn't have a catalyst you know um and it yeah. kind of like breeds relationships which i love and we can also reach out to people that we don't know and say, instead of saying hey we're a big fan want to grab coffee that's more weird but if you yeah. can offer them want to come on a podcast maybe that could be yeah. Something that sparks a relationship with people that you want to be surrounded with. So I kind of look at it that way, but I appreciate that, man. Like we're all mm-hmm. no, we're it, building, and, yeah. and we're inspired by the two of you. I, I love seeing yeah. all what you're doing, and you we really appreciate you spending your very niche channel together. Y'all would crush. We're we're thinking about sure. it. We're trying to find out what we're, what our niche would be and what would be a good thing for us to do. But it's yeah, definitely just like in the these works. these personal projects that we have as well, and and I think sometimes. You know, she has this um, Pedro, what's his last name? The Pedro Moldavi film that you want to do? No, Pedro. maybe no. <laughs> she has a no, thing no, that no, she's no, been no, for a no. while, Please, right? Five minutes and Benji wants to bark. And I'm, and I'm always like, and, <laughs> no. I'm, and I'm always like, babe, let, let's help you put, let's get that out there, sure. you know? And she'll be doing the same thing with stuff of mine. Yeah. 
but very little do we actually like let's how about we like sit down and do something together yeah. so that'd be interesting that would be interesting yeah you Maybe should something in the future like i said we'll let keep like, us kinda, posted you know, oh yeah. you will know trust okay. me <laughs> we're always written for you so yeah. it'll be yeah. and us and us for yeah. you guys yeah. Yeah. seriously but 2020 is gonna be great yes. and and and, and then yeah. relationships well like with you guys i hope that we can build on same. Yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, and I and I appreciate you both so much to, uh, taking your Saturday evening to oh come and gosh. chat with us for an hour. Uh, mm-hmm. Really, really appreciate. Thank that. you for having us. Are you yeah, kidding seriously. me? Sure. Last time I was here, I was alone, so now I get to share. <laughs> yeah, you came to. The yeah, I was. I was the... literally really excited about this, and she was just like, she was like, oh, I've done another one, you know. I, was like, <laughs> I mean, you're like, I mean, you're like, you should I'm be excited. Because you know, I got it. This is my second episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming in, can you get my punch card and get yeah. thank you? Yeah, if you do six, then we buy you dinner. Ooh, how fun. Yeah, we should get a punch card. But you come back three times, you'll give me a gift. Um, but, uh, but yeah, thank you to everyone who, uh, who tuned in to watch. We really appreciate you. And um, uh, until next time, thank you. Bye.